Fulcrum here. Come with me to pick up the brand new Sith Wayfinder from Galaxy's Edge. Thank you. Got it. Let's go unbox it. So the Sith Wayfinder from Rise of Skywalker looks like this. So when we unbox it, let's compare. As you can see, I already have the Sith and the Jedi Holocron, and really this feels like a completed collection now. The tape they use for the sabers and the merch um, is effective, but such a pain in the butt to, uh, to take off. So I've got all the tape off and off of me now. All right, so it looks like this might be the only instructions on the back here, uh, very similar to the Sith and the Jedi Holocron it looks like, but um, yeah, let's check it out. All right, it's a fun little container at least, could be a good display. All right, here we go. Okay, nice little plastic. This is the bottom. All right. Interesting. You can see there's a place on the bottom here to unscrew, and of course we have the switch here. Let's see what else it comes with first. We have this little doodad. So you can see here, there's a little end that this goes in. All right. And then according to the instructions, that are taped somewhere. So this end goes there. This is the wire accessory. Uh, attach wire accessory head to Wayfinder window on opposite side of Wayfinder, Wayfinder port. So it's on this side, needs to attach to, oh, oh, okay, interesting. It has a little magnet that attaches there. Um, this wire needs to a little bit more because it is a little annoying. There we go. Okay. So it attaches there. All right. Uh, the fourth step is scan Kyber crystal directly below wire accessory head. So I have to scan it directly below this. So here's the catch with all the, the holocrons and the Sith Wayfinder is you need a kyber crystal. Thankfully, I've got all the kyber crystals, uh, so we're gonna test some out. Let's actually go, let's go Darth Vader. We're gonna go Darth Vader on this. Um, they always get you with needing extra little things. Uh, but if you're gonna have kyber crystals anyway, um, might as well have the holocrons and the wayfinders and everything else, okay. So it's attached there. <laughs> Oh, little dots show up. Interesting. Showing locations. You can see that. Interesting. Okay. So that's the Darth Vader holocron. Oh, now it's doing extra. In the dark side, Malachor is a lonely planet on the galaxy's edge. It was the site of an ancient war between the Jedi and the Sith, a terrible conflict whose echoes can still be felt in the Force. Interesting. Uh, <laughs> dude's a little creepy. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, it's a little creeper voice. Um, yeah. All right. Let's try it again. Okay. So we turn it on, a little something happens. This attaches here to this side, this side goes around and there's a little magnet that, uh, that turns on there. Then you have to scan a, scan a kyber crystal and let's see what happens. Let's 
do the dots. I don't know who they got for the voice of this, but uh, when they're like, Malakor's a lonely place, that just... <laughs> okay, a little funny, but interesting. All right, so that was with a Darth Vader Kyber Crystal. Let's try it with a Yoda. Let's see what happens with Yoda. All right. Let's put this bad boy back. Oh, no, we're going to try it with that later. Darth Vader. Um... All right. Yoda Kyber Crystal. Let's see what happens. Oh, it's green. Okay. Oh, you got a you got green dots there. All right. That's true. It's strong in the light and dark side of the force. Um, <laughs> okay, the guy's got a creeper voice. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, with the others, you, you've got uh, all the original voices and even the person who does Bendu. Um, but they, of course, those were those were already recorded in Star Wars. Close up of Vader Kyber Crystal. <laughs> Upon messing with this a little bit more, I realized that if you use the same carbon crystal and activate it... Malachor's surface is a waste of petrified ash broken by stone pyramids. This wasteland conceals a subterranean Sith temple which was destroyed during the Empire's rule. It gives you extra information about that planet. Of course, this is Malachor. Uh, it runs through the same sequence. Lore about Malachor was restricted to the wisest Jedi Masters for fear of awakening slumbering Sith perils. Younger Jedi were forbidden to visit the planet or inquire into its secrets. So every time you use this, it'll go through the same sequence of, of information about that planet. Darth Vader confronted his former Padawan Ahsoka Tano on Malachor defeating her in a lightsaber duel, but Tano survived by escaping into a strange force realm known as the World Between Worlds. Okay, that's the first cool one that I've heard. Uh, I like that one. Let's do one more. Oh, Malachor now we're back to the beginning. The planet on the galaxy's edge. It was the site of an ancient war between the Jedi and the Sith, a terrible conflict whose echoes can still be felt in the Force. So it looks like every single one of these has like three or four uh, different voice activations uh, when you activate the Kyber Crystal. Uh, I'm gonna go with. Uh, we're gonna go for our elusive Black Kyber Crystal. Let's check out the Black Kyber Crystal. See what happens. So I got lucky in one of my hauls, I ended up getting like three black kyber crystals uh, over the pandemic and um, there you go, black kyber crystal. And uh, <laughs> I know people search really hard for them, but I got, I got lucky. Black kyber crystal, let's do this, here we go. <laughs> Okay, it's red. The vaccine station is an ancient construct orbiting a dying star deep in the outer rim. Centuries ago, it was used as an outpost by the fearsome 
Okay. Black Kyber Crystal. All right. Interesting. I had nothing to do with Snoke. I thought it was, but um, there we are. Okay, now I have to try out some more holocrons. I got this on, on Etsy. It's it's super cute. Um, you recognize it. If you've played Jedi Fallen Order, uh, then uh, you see this. And I got a bunch of colors in here. Let's try yellow. Let's see what happens with yellow. I'm curious. Here we go. Put that back on there. Yellow. All right, it's yellow. Yes, it has. Thank you, Sith Wayfinder. <laughs> Alright, time for a blue one. Alright, we got blue. Go through a couple more colors. Here we go. Here's purple. Purple looks nice. Okay, this takes forever. Do the thing. kind of feel like the voice in this is somebody who did an audiobook but is trying way too hard. That's the that's the sense I'm getting. All right. Uh, we're down to the white kyber crystal. Let's see what happens with the white kyber crystal. Hopefully get a new thing. White kyber crystal. Yeah, okay, Jetta. All right. Okay, so Wayfinder is just giving... So Wayfinder... So the Wayfinder just uh, gives descriptions of different parts of the galaxy, um, different worlds, um, depending on the kyber crystal. I don't know if that changes, like, if we did a blue Luke Skywalker versus a blue Obi-Wan Kenobi. I don't know if that would change things up or if it just kind of cycles through... A certain amount but um, that's essentially what this is and what this does. Here's my take on this. Um, if I'm being honest it's okay. Um, I still like the Jedi holocron and the Sith holocron better. Um, I would choose those first over the Wayfinder. If you love Rise, Rise of Skywalker, uh, if you do love that movie, you will love having this um, just to have it, uh, even just the light up. Um, certain things about it, uh, it 
has this kind of uh, dirty look to it because, you know, the Sith uh, Wayfinder has been through a lot. But um, it looks like I just haven't cleaned it in a while is kind of what it looks like. Um, so from afar... How dare you, Palpatine? I cleaned it, okay? Jeez. <laughs> okay, so it also does random noise. Is it because I shook it? No. It just does random noises if you keep that uh, plug, uh, plugged in. Okay. Good to know. Uh, the lights are fun. The sounds are a bit annoying. The, the beep boop beep boop. Um, it, it sounds like kind of 1950s sci-fi. Um, not even like an R2-D2 type of thing, but like... Um, and then it takes quite a while for it to find... for something to actually happen. Uh, for the voice to happen. And then the voice, again, like I said, kind of sounds like... Um, somebody's just trying a little too hard on the audiobook. Uh, <laughs> or... Um, uh, yeah, it's it's fine. Uh, the little designs on it are fun. Um, those those look interesting. Uh, but other than that, um, I I'm I'm happy to add it to my collection. Uh, but it's not like it looks a little bit better without the the thing attached to it. And I know they had the wires in the movie, but um, this little wire is a little frustrating. It 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 doesn't it, I don't know it doesn't look as great. Um, thankfully I, with my pass, I got a discount on this, so I didn't have to pay full price, but, um, again, I would choose the Jedi and the Sith Holocron over this first, but I'm happy to have this to my collection. It'll, it'll look good, um, on display. Um, and then I have a bunch of kyber crystals that I can use with this. If you don't really have kyber crystals, um, there's going to be less variety in that, but I would definitely say... Um, if you're going to get some kyber crystals, uh, choose a couple different colors um, so that you get a mix. Um, I don't know. Let's... <sighs> really there, Sidious? Really? Really? You're going to laugh at me on my own video. All right. Um, let's try purple again. Let's see if it gives us the same thing. Um, just out of curiosity. See, the noises are very 1950s. It actually almost kind of sounds like 1990s dial-up internet. That's a better description. Dial-up internet. If you don't know what that is, Google it and you'll understand. Alright. Let's do the thing. Okay, same way. So, uh, certain kyber crystals seem like it'll activate the same thing. I know, dude. Thank you. Uh, so, um, again, if you have a couple kyber crystals, you're just gonna really get the same sounds. I don't know how many different planets. Um, I have a bunch of other kyber crystals that I can try, um, to, to see if there is more variety. Uh, but the lights are fun. The sounds are a bit annoying. I don't regret getting it. Uh, it'll look good in my collection. Uh, but again, uh, the Jedi and the Sith Holocron are just a little bit more fun. Um, and you get some of the original voices versus uh, the Creeper that comes on here. Uh, talks about Malachor being lonely. Well, there you go. The Sith Wayfinder. I would say take it or leave it. If you really want it, you'll enjoy it. If you're unsure, don't get it. Go for the Jedi or Sith Holocron. That's my takeaway. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel because that helps me out. We will see you in future videos. This has been your Sith Wayfinder, Fulcrum out. Just had to get in the last word. Fulcrum out.